Abdullah Al Samah bin Ibn Hussein, God bless him and his brother, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, the President of the Republic of Egypt, as well as officials and, uh, and ministers in the institutions in the two countries, and also on the level, on the population level, and the relations and ties, brotherly ties that brings together the Jordanians with the Egyptians and we, ha we have to say that this relationship that binds us with our brothers in Egypt is, a, is an ideal relationship and a stereotype of the relations that has to be between all brothers. The meetings today concluded to the signing of a number of documents in the fields of planning and, and antiquities and housing and electrical connections and communications and Dr. Mustafa Madbouli delivered a, a, a verbal message from President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to my Lord King Abdullah God bless him and we were honored we were we are honored to be with the with his majesty when he welcomed prime minister a few moments ago and definitely this relationship this ideal relationship between the Jordanian kingdom and the republic of egypt focuses on and centers on that we are always in the same boat because we are we stand side to side in political cases and issues and in our definition of targeting the national security of any Arab nation, the national security of the Arab region is the same and we categorize the Palestinian case the same way because it is the central case that the absence of fair and permanent and comprehensive solution leads to increased instability and tension in the region and we agree up that the only solution to this issue is the two-state solution that the Palestinian state is established on complete so sovereignty on the borders of 19 67 with the capital Jerusalem, East Jerusalem, so that this country can live independently and peacefully with the countries and populations of the entire region and to achieve st regional stability. Regional non stability is the continuous of the Palestinian plight. Also, the Egyptian and Jordanian vision are set in parallel to, 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 towards the, uh, the, the preservation of tu touristic sanct uh, sanctities and we consider the Egyptian national security as part and parcel of the of the Jordanian national security and we agree with the with the Egyptian leadership in in relation to aspects of the Renaissance dam crisis to settle this issue without without tampering with the rights of 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 countries who share this same seas and water and waterways and our our views are the same concerning different regional issues near and far and our our discussions also tackled the mechanisms that mechanisms that bring together the the republic of jordan and egypt and iraq and this trilateral mechanism was the was the last the most recent meeting of the summit in 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 august of the, of the previous year that was attended by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and Prime Minister Mustafa al-Qazimi of Iraq and we have agreed 
uh, on this trilateral mechanism uh, to start with the presence of a permanent secretariat, transitional secretariat that will be hosted in the country that hosts the summit and there will be a summit also that will host the trilateral summit as well as Amman's hosting of the summit in Amman within the framework of the trilateral mechanism to boost the economic and financial cooperation between the three countries the neighboring countries in the fields of petrol, gas, minerals and natural resources and the freedom of commerce and stating certain projects that we called for it and to, to start the execution of these projects so that the benefit of the, the three countries can can expand through this mute, uh, joint projects and we also agreed of about cons continued coordination away from the institutional framework of of joint committees and treating all the issues and all the obstacles that come in the way of of bilateral or trilateral coordination with the help of the concerned of related ministers and representatives in the, in the in the three countries and i reassert our our readiness in the jordanian kingdom to cooperate in, in within these relations to broader horizons and to develop this strategic and brotherly relationship that is already established i would also like to come forward with my thanks to our brothers in the egyptian republic of because of their response their their steadfast response to our needs our medicinal needs and that our brothers in Egypt have fulfilled and also of providing us with the measures that would lead to uh, leadership achievements in the trade fields. I consider our Egyptian brothers to be standing at our back and to be at at the center of our heart and that they are present in their second country we are proud of these our egyptian brothers and we consider them in their second co country and they will always receive from us all the care and love that springs from these mutual ties prime minister you are in, indeed in your second country and once again we welcome you and we are all in the same boat uh, we have always been in the same boat with our with our with the uh, republic of egypt and all the all the good that affects you affects us as well and all the the evil that affects you affects us as well and this is something that uh, thank you very much, and I welcome you once again. In the name of God, the most merciful and compassionate, my brother, President Dr. Bishr Hassouna, the Prime Minister of the Jordanian Kingdom. Allow me to thank greatly my brother, the President, on his hospitality and generous hospitality from the first moment that we stepped foot in the Jordanian kingdom we have always felt that we are part that we have never left our country Egypt and that we are indeed in our second country and in fact this these meetings that were held today on the margins of these of the joint bilateral meeting committee was one of uh, one of the most important periodical committees that was held between the two countries in Egypt and Jordan have always been keen on uh, on holding these committees regularly and effectuating all the projects and memorandums that signed these 
that that document these meetings and as my brother has said and confirmed the strong relationships and ties between the two countries and the two populations and above them the political leaderships between the two countries King Abdullah Athani ibn Hussein and His Excellency Abdul Fattah Sisi, President Abdul Fattah Sisi, these these relationships have, uh, re reflect upon continued communication and coordination between the two countries in these. In this very exceptional period that the world witnesses of the coronavirus pandemic and this reality that that imposed on the entire world new challenges and new developments that made uh, even the developed countries face so many problems and we and in light of the capabilities present in the two countries the two governments present the its utmost efforts to deal with this pandemic this very harsh pandemic we were talking also that despite all the problems that are present even in the two countries the situation is still much better than so many countries so many developed countries that have systems that are cons considerably more stable and more capable but the situation on the, uh, on the land of reality in our two countries is much much better than these other countries developed countries and this is because of the great great degree of pressure that is imposed on governments and economic sources to deal with this pandemic that all international institutions said that it is the most harsh circumstance since more than a hundred years. We have to be aware entirely the, the degree and the, uh, and the of challenge that is faced by the by countries around the world. As you know, there are other challenges present in this region and this is what imposes on us according to the directions of the political leadership in the two countries in complete coordination and cooperation with the, between the governments of, of the related ministers there is continued bilateral communication and direct communication through the days and through the weeks directly and today in the meeting of the trilateral committee we confirmed together uh, me and the president of the is, of the establishment of the ministers in the two sides of bilateral meetings on the two sides and sol and solving any problems that arise in relation to the relations between the two countries with direct di with direct directions from the two countries we discussed several co uh, Bilater bilateral cooperation fields in the field of commercial exchange between the two countries and we are keen on increasing the commercial exchange and deepening the commercial exchange by the end of the coronavirus pandemic there is planning of increasing the commercial exchange between the two countries with our third uh, brother country Iraq that we discussed with it within the trilateral cooperation meeting that there will be a trilateral summit upcoming summit we discussed today several important projects that the leaders of the three countries will be discussing and announcing in the trilateral summit I was honored with to, to meet my brother uh, the president with meeting his his majesty King Abdul, Abdullah al Hussein and I delivered to him my, the President Abdul Fattah Sisi's wishes and support and, and good wishes to uh, the uh, Hashemite Jordanian Kingdom under his his wise rule and I delivered to him all the support from the Egyptian side that is supported to the Jordanian Kingdom in the in the in the healthcare field and and in the logistics field and the message that I was delivering asserted that the exceptional conditions that is faced by our country of all the new developments imposed on us on us 
الملك تفضل bilateral coordination and cooperation and the king expressed his support to all the Egyptian issues and his confirmation that the national Egyptian national security is the same as the Jordanian national security in any case it affects the two countries reflects negatively or positively on the other country and his majesty confirmed the sameness of the position of and the stance of the two countries towards international cases and crises and we asserted the the two-state solution in relation to the Palestinian state with this capital Jerusalem and and his majesty Deli delivered a message to his brother, His Excellency President Sisi, to 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 reassert the support of Egypt, the Egyptian stance towards the Renaissance Dam crisis. I once again I thank the President, my brother, to allow to give me the opportunity to say in the beautiful capital Amman that I am always happy to be at we agreed again the continuous of the mechanism of the bilateral relations between the two countries in the coming period in the coming stage for more coordination and strengthening stre strengthening of relations between the two countries thank you very much And that was our uh, Egyptian uh, Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, who held bilateral talks with Jordan's Prime Minister, Bishr El Khassauna, and the press conference that followed suit, where they spoke about the main issues that were discussed. They tackled a number of files of mutual concern, including bilateral cooperation.